In today's video, we're looking at three simple. <laughs> yes, three. We're looking at three simple YouTube tips for beginners. Now, here's a cool thing. All of these are completely free to do. They're all actionable, and they can actually go ahead and help you to grow your channel. Now, the idea for today's video came about because. I'm a member over of this Facebook group over here, which is called Small YouTubers Boost. Now, there's over 350,000 people in this group, and all of the time I see the same messages in here, a bit like this one on the screen. I hope you're all doing well. Can you kindly help me to grow my gaming channel? And honestly, if you go through, it's all of the same questions about this, you know, what should I do? How do I grow my YouTube channel? But what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video it's just three simple, and I mean simple steps for growing your YouTube channel. And look, if you want more, you know, resources, you can come over to my blog. It's called Not Taught at School. Come over to YouTube, and we've got lots of articles on here for promoting your channel, making money, lots more stuff on here. So I'll drop a link to this below. Feel free to go ahead and check this out. There's also my journey and other bits. But let's start right at the beginning. So if we come back over here into this small YouTubers boost over here. Someone put this message here, I don't know, look. How can I grow my gaming channel faster? So we'll use this as an example. So let's go on to YouTube. And this is step one where we're doing some keyword research. And look, I'm sure you've all read these articles online, like these ones here, YouTube tips for beginners. And, you know, if you go into any article, they all tell you the same stuff. And we'll go into this one. I'll show you this here because... <laughs> It's, it's not that helpful, to be truthful. If we scroll down here, look, be consistent. Da, 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 da. I want to show you this one here. Don't forget to do SEO on your videos. Now, if you do not know, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And basically, th these are the, this is what you normally find over online. You'll see we've got, give your video a descriptive title. It goes without saying. We've then got use tags and write a description. Now, these are just absolute basics, but, you know, even if you give your video a title without doing some proper search engine optimization, it won't really make a difference because you will not be getting found in the search engine, okay? So, if we come over onto YouTube, we will start with this gaming channel as an example. So, let's go with Fortnite as an example. So, if I come over to the search bar up here, and I just type in Fortnite, okay? And I press the space bar, <clears throat> we can then see... These here are currently all of the top 10 to 12 um, searches what people are putting into YouTube. So we can see Fortnite Chapter 3 is getting 135,000 searches a month. We can then go to this one here, look, Fortnite Item Shop, etc. So you can start to build out or get some ideas for your title of your video here. You can go down here and have a look at this. Another thing what you can do is you can just type a letter. So if I was to go Fortnite A... And we see, you know, what's coming up there. So people are typing in Fortnite Arena, Fortnite All Presents, all of this. We can then press the backspace and go B. And again, it will show you examples of what people are typing into YouTube with starting with that letter. And you can go through the whole alphabet. So you can start to build out some ideas for your YouTube videos from here. Another thing you can do is if you come over here, same process, type in A at the front and a space. And then we can see, look. We've got a Fortnite movie and all of these things. And just go through and, and do this. B. And then we press C. And you just go through that. It normally tends to work better if we're doing it this way. So you type in, you know, the keyword up there and then type in A. And you can just go through and have a look and, and do it this way. It's pretty straightforward and simple. But once you've decided, obviously you've decided on your category and your niche. And let's say we were to go into this Fortnite arena. What I would do is I would just come press backspace and I would hit enter and it's now going to present me with all of the most popular videos on YouTube around that keyword. Okay, so Fortnite. So I can scroll through and have a look at these. So then I would go one step further and I would go into this channel here and I'd go down. I'd go into this channel here and then once this loads up, I'd just pause the video. I'd then scroll down and I'd go to here where it says you know, the name of the account. And then we just go ahead and have a look at the videos that they're uploading over on this channel, okay? Because basically what you want to do is, whichever category you're going into or niche, you want to find people 
within that niche and you want to look at their most popular videos and you know have a look have a look at them have a look at the titles see how you know the titles the thumbnails and just get some ideas about you know what's currently working on their channel and do not be put off by the, you know the number of subscribers up here it doesn't matter but what i like to do is whenever i'm starting any channel I like to find, you know, my category and my niche. I then go through the process of what I've just shared with you, where I come up to the search bar and I type in, you know, keywords related to that. And then I start to get some ideas. I then go and find other channels. And this is known as piggybacking. So we'll go and look at other channels and we look at, you know, what's their most popular videos. Can we potentially create a video ourselves, you know, around that topic? Not, it's not difficult, it's pretty straightforward. So you get a collection. So normally I normally start with three or five channels and we call this method the piggyback. So you just go in into YouTube and just go and find some of these channels. And again, you can scroll through and have a look at them. And look, we could go and look at this one. And we're just starting to get a bit of an idea of what's currently working on YouTube, okay? And the process is we're going to a channel, we click on videos and we just have a look. You know have a look at what they're doing what they're uploading and we're also looking at you know the titles the thumbnails and other bits so that is that is literally step one step two you're going to want something which is absolutely free and it is this over here this is a free extension and i'll drop a link to this below for you it's called tube buddy now if i just go up here and i'll show you this i'll type in tube buddy just scroll down the page here and we'll go to here. But like I said, the link down below will take you direct, directly over to the home page. Now, basically, this is there's a, paid, there's a paid version of this, but for this method, you can just go with the free version. So you come over here, you create an account for free, and you can see we get all these wonderful tools over on here. So we've got how to rank in search results, get more views and subscribers, and lots more and look this is you can you know you're not going to get in trouble for using this extension they are a youtube partner program so there's no worries with this so you can go ahead get this once you've got this installed if come back over here onto for onto him not fortnite onto youtube sorry we'll see the extension here then we click on here and then what happens is if we scroll down here you see where it says keyword explorer i'm going to click on there and it opens up a tab here for us so now what we can do is so we'll type in our keyword fortnite and we're just going to hit enter and it's going to bring up some more information around this keyword for us so we can see here look overall score poor so look basically what it's saying is if i was just to upload a video saying fortnite the overall score of this is you know poor in terms of me ranking that video and getting views and if we scroll a bit further down we've got score analysis so it shows you the search volume for that keyword so you can see over here it's in the green it's excellent we've got competition for this so we can see poor means you know there's lots of people uploading content around fortnite and then we've also got optimization strength and again if you just hover over any of these it will tell you more about this so so what we can see here in a snapshot is optimization strength it's excellent over here is in red but it's actually towards the other end so what that's saying to us is here we can see look the number represents how well optimized the top ranking videos are for this search phrase fortnite now if they are not well optimized then it provides you an opportunity to break in and rank your videos so we can see here look there's a lot of search volume for this keyword the competition you know is in red so it means it's pretty hard however the people who are uploading the fortnite videos they're not optimizing them from this but look this is just on this one you know keyword if we was to let's just type in fortnite let's say uh, um what was it on arena <laughs> hopefully you can spell arena fortnite arena and then we can say look let's just go with fortnite arena gameplay and then we'll explore that we'll start to see a different set of results down here and basically so let's have a look at this so it's still quite hard so look search volume is high competition has got a bit better and the optimization is still low it's still low so we've got a fortnite arena gameplay then we could you know just start playing around with our title so fortnite arena gameplay my sim i don't know my simple my simple method something like this and all i'm doing here is i'm just playing around with this just to see you know if we can find some potential 
for this. So all we're doing is we're just typing this in. And then look, we can see now, now it started to change again. But the cool thing is, especially in this arena, this Fortnite arena, we can see people are not optimizing their videos. So let me come out of there and let's take it a step further. So now we're going to go with Fortnite Arena and we're just going to search for that. And we're, again, we're just going to look at the titles of what people are uploading to see, you know, what's catchy, what people are doing. And we're going to scroll down. So let's go, da -da 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 -da. I played until I got Champion League, come further down. We played Arena. I mean, look at this one here. We played Arena for eight hours straight. But again, they're not using the keyword Fortnite Arena. The reason being is, obviously, this channel has got 2.8 million subscribers. So they don't need to. But when you're first starting out, we want to be focusing on these keywords to, you know, find people basically to get our videos to be found by people who are searching for them on youtube you see on here look fortnite for beginners what you should know first come further on the page i played arena straight down i played arena so in this example we could go with fortnite arena this would be fortnite arena and then some you know have a look at what other people are doing and just start to create our title around this now when it comes to your title let me share another little method with you if i come over here We'll go back over onto, let's just go over here really quickly. So I wrote this article and it's got some really cool little methods for your YouTube title and also your thumbnail. And it uses a mix and, and a play on words. And this came from a lot of research. Let's scroll down here. I'll show you this really quickly. Da -da 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 -da. Get more views. This one over here. So if I click on here. There's a lot of keywords in here that you can use inside of your title. So if I scroll further down the page here, do, 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 do. Look, it's called keyword plus a click word. Now, if I come down here, we've got the benefits of this. So look, a great video title will always include t uh, two sections, a target keyword phrase. So which that in this example, it would be uh, Fortnite Arena and a click word. In other words, a reason to get them to click through and watch your videos. So scroll down here, look, here's some examples of keyword of click words. So it could be Fortnite Arena, and then you, you could just go with this. Astonishing, you know, astonishing method, astonishing hack, etc. Or look, there's lots on here. So you can use any of these click words over here. I mean you could come I in mean, that that would be, you know, a pretty decent title, wouldn't it? Fortnite Arena this wacky method earns more xp or so, you know something like this. these are all known as click words so i mean secrets people use it you know people use this a lot but something like this again sh shocking you can also use these here inside of your thumbnails as well because you know these are all reasons to you know we're trying to get somebody to click through and watch our video because the click through rate helps on youtube as well so i'll drop a link to this below for you you can go ahead and have a look at some of these you know these click words and these keywords if i scroll further down as well there's another another method which is called the benefit method okay so let's just go down here and there's an, again there's another example of this on the page for you but there's also something called the fear method so again if we was going with youtube arena we could say youtube arena top 10 mistakes newbies make and again, you know, that's giving people and then uh, it's like a reason for them to click on the video and actually watch this. So look, I'll drop a link to this article below for you because it also covers things like thumbnails and other bits. But, you know, using some of these words on here, they're just great for using inside of your title. So now we, we've done our keyword research, we've come up with a title idea. It then moves on to the next part, which is obviously we need to be including that keyword in our description and also in our tags. Now, in terms of tags, you know, people say they don't make that much of a difference, but ultimately it takes two minutes, well, less than two minutes to include all of the correct tags for your video, because we're trying to tell YouTube exactly what our video is about. So we have our keyword in our title, we have it in our description, we also have it there or thereabouts in our thumbnail. You know, why wouldn't we spend five to 10 seconds getting it in our tags? And I'll show you how to do that really quickly. Come over to this website over here, and it's called Rapid Tags. Rapid Tags. Oh, sorry, Tags. Type in, and as I've mentioned, you can just type in your keyword that you're targeting. So if we just go with Fortnite Arena, like so, and we click the search bar here, 
it then gives us all of our tags. So we just copy those and we upload those into the tag section over on Fortnite. Okay, so let me close out of that. So that there is your tags. So we've done our search engine optimization. We've found titles that we can use. We're also implementing over here. We are using our click words that we can, you know, include in our title and also in our description over here. And then we're also getting our video tags. Now, look, these are just three simple methods you can use when trying to, you know, build and grow a channel on YouTube. Now in today's video we focused on search engine optimization but if you don't sorry let me get rid of this if you do not know over on youtube you can get traffic in a number of ways not only can you get you know views from the search engine you can also get youtube to recommend and share your content for you you can also be featured in the up next or the suggested videos and you can also be featured on the home screen and look i share a lot more about this inside of my free course there's a link to that down below you can go ahead and check that out but look that there is three simple steps for you know anyone who's starting out on youtube and you can go and have a look at the free course or you can just simply come over to the blog and have a look at these articles because there's lots you know there's lots on here to help you with making money on youtube growing your channel and lots more so look if you found today's video useful please give it a like i'd really appreciate that if you've got any comments or questions comment down below and let me know but yeah that is a few different methods that you can use to you know grow your channel and start to get found in the search engine when you're first starting out on youtube please don't just be you know uploading a video saying fortnite me playing for a few hours because when you're first starting out nobody cares other than you know some of your friends or your family they really don't it's in the beginning it can be you know a bit time consuming but if we are you know optimizing our video to get the views and then we're including our click words and other bits then you know it's just a simple and a quicker way to grow your channel and hopefully you won't do what most people do and that's quit and give up so look thanks again have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>